Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, I want to share with you guys some uh, more stuff that's coming to JP with the 6th anniversary, which is starting in about 4 days from now. Now, of course, all this stuff is courtesy of Air Dokkan on Twitter, so a big shout out to him. And uh, the first thing we're going to look at is the full art here for the free-to-play mastered Ultra Instinct Goku that everybody should be able to get through uh, most likely logins and missions. And dude, he looks absolutely amazing. I mean, I'm having a hard time believing that this is the art for a free-to-play unit because he just looks that good. Like if you take away the Dragon Balls and somebody had told me that this was for a summonable MUI Goku, I'd be like, yeah, sounds right, because it's it's on that level, like it's on that level of quality, right? So uh, this is awesome. I'm so glad that everybody, even if you get shafted, you know, fingers crossed that we don't, but if people get shafted on the summonable LR banner, I mean, you'll still have a new MUI Goku and he looks amazing. So I can't wait to see his animations, can't wait to see what he does, but for now, we have the art, and it is really, really dope. Okay, so that's the first thing. From there, we have this asset for a special ticket called the 6th Anniversary Super Thanks Ticket. Now, nobody really knows what this does at this moment, but I'm assuming that it's going to be probably exchangeable for a certain pool of units, kind of like those uh, wish strips from the Tenabata celebrations. So I'm guessing there's going to be like maybe... 50 to 60, maybe 66 units available in the Baba shop, and we can use these tickets to exchange for some of those characters, or maybe there's going to be another special banner. I don't really know, to be honest. I'm just speculating, but this ticket is going to be available during the celebration, and uh, it's also going to be most likely free to play as well, because if you look at the login bonus preview here, you can see the ticket is in the image, right? So you can assume that we're going to get these through the login bonus, so they should be free. Or maybe you can buy some. Actually, no, this is not global. I was going to say Pilaf's Trove, but then I realized JP doesn't have the Pilaf's Trove. So yeah, these should be free. And on top of that, for the login bonus, there's going to be the 6th anniversary coins, some reversal medals, some uh, stamina meat items, obviously dragon stones, and uh, Sleepy Kai's, the 6th uh, anniversary ticket, that's for the general banner. And uh, that seems to be it. Oh, I'm sure there's going to be some training items, some training locations, and of course, this guy right here. All right, so that's the login bonus. And we're also going to be getting a new red Dragonstone. And you guys know this is going to be exchanged for, um, you know, some uh, Extreme Z Awakenable units like the SDR Gogeta, uh, Tech Cell, uh, Tech Beerus, Fizz Full Power Frieza. Um, you know, the Family Kamehameha Trio, if you have all of them rainbowed, you can also use this to get a Elder Kai. So that's what this is for, and uh, this will also be available to everybody through the first initial login bonus. And we also, of course, have the 66 unit guaranteed LR ticket. And uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of jokes about where the 66 ticket is and a lot of people tagging Talon. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so this guy tagged Talon. Yo, Gaming Talon, how do we get the last ticket? So uh, just like last year, there are going to be 66 tickets in total that we can acquire through um, probably some from login and then the rest through missions throughout the entire celebration. And if it's like last year, then we won't be able to actually get all the 66 tickets into the multi until the last part of the celebration. Okay, so if you go into the celebration and you get some tickets and you're trying to figure out like, oh, where do I get the rest? You most likely won't be able to get all of them until it's over or at least until like the last part because they use these to kind of keep people engaged throughout the entire celebration, right? They want people to continue playing to, you know, do all the missions, do all the events, and just stick with the celebration throughout its um, entire run, right? So uh, I'm going to assume that, yeah, it's going to be the same thing. So there's going to be a lot of people asking, you know, where the last ticket is or where X number of tickets are, so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, don't worry. You will be able to get all of them. It's just going to take a little while, right? And uh, from there, we have the sixth anniversary banner. Now, of course, this is not for 
the dual LRs, the LR MUI Goku, and most likely Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. This is going to be a banner that features a lot of uh, really good non Dokafest units like this Krillin, Vados, Topo, uh, Whis, and Dispo, as well as I'm sure some other you know, T.O.P. Universe Survival Saga characters, while also having a decent amount of LRs in the unfeatured pool. And of course, it's a ticket banner, so you can only summon on it with uh, the 6th anniversary tickets that we get through out the celebration, through the logins, uh, missions, and also maybe top grossing as well. And uh, it's these tickets right here. And moving on, we have the 6th Anniversary Coins, which can be used to exchange for uh, a bunch of things in the Baba Shop, whether it's Kai's, Orbs, um, Story Keys, Training Items, Support Items, and uh, did I say Kai's? Kai's of course, and also uh, some of those special characters from previous celebrations or anniversaries, like the Super Saiyan 4 Goku from last year, Super Saiyan 3 Goku from the year before, wait no, it was Super Saiyan Blue Goku last year, Super Saiyan 4 Goku from the 4th anniversary, and also some of the uh, worldwide celebration or download celebration units, like the Batman Vegeta, the um, you know Booty Hercule, all that stuff. So that's what the coin is for. And here's also a preview of the 66 ticket guaranteed LR banner. I mean, there should be also a stone version, just like last year. So for the stone version, it's probably gonna be 200 stones, maybe a little bit more since it's 66 characters this year. So maybe 250 or something like that. But either way, it's gonna be one stone version and then one ticket version. And of course, for the stone version, you spend your stones, get 66 units with a guaranteed LR in there. And then for the ticket version, you use your 66 tickets that you collected throughout the celebration and uh, also get a guaranteed LR. And obviously, LR UI Goku is the featured or headlining LR. So I'm assuming that he's also going to be the newest LR available on the banner, which isn't too bad since he came out in uh, May for JP, right? Actually, maybe a little bit later, maybe in June. But yeah, he's fairly new still, and he's still amazing, so that's not a bad thing. And uh, lastly, we have a preview for a brand new event, and supposedly it's gonna be pretty hard. Um, I think Erdogan says. Oh, so yeah, the uh, difficulty level is gonna be similar to that of Extreme Super Battle Road, which, as you guys know, is one of, if not the hardest event. In the game right now so this might be a bit of a struggle for uh, newer players out there and also the reward is Xeno support memory now if you guys don't know what the support memories are I did make a video about it so feel free to go check it out I'll put a link above my head but they're basically like um, special support items that you can use in addition to your regular support items and they also have their own animation so we haven't seen what the Xeno support memory can do but I'm gonna assume that it's either a Ghost Usher, like you skip a turn, or it makes you invincible for one turn, which I guess is kind of the same thing. So uh, something to that effect, I would assume, is the Xeno support memory um, item. And uh, also, because we have like all these gods on there, right? I'm hoping it's gonna be some kind of a, you know, LGE style event where you fight every single god in succession all the way from um, I don't know, Beerus to whoever, I don't know, like whatever order you want to put them in, maybe Beerus is the final boss, and we start with like, the mouse guy, I forgot their names, I'm sorry guys, it's, it's been too long and there's too many of them, but we go through each of the gods, one after another, I think that'd be pretty sick, uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think this event will look like, or what you want it to be, but I do feel like it's going to be very similar to LGE and uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History, or maybe more like Super Battle Road, where you're going through a map and encountering these fights as like individual stages. But with so many gods, I think it's gonna take way too long, right? Now one interesting thing, or one exciting thing, is that uh, each of these gods, I think, are like new arts. I don't think we've seen any of these arts in Dokkan before. So yeah, I mean, this could set the stage for future either free to play or summonable versions of the other gods of destructions, right? I mean, we haven't had a single summonable one aside from Beerus and Champa, and uh, I think these other guys do deserve some more, you know, love. So if that's the direction they want to go in moving forward, 
then I'm totally down for it, you know? So, uh, yeah, that's the new event. We don't know exactly what it's gonna be, but there's the preview image with all the Gods of Destructions. And finally, we also have a new support movie Oolong, or support memory Oolong, coming as well. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, one final thing. We're gonna be getting 30 Dragon Stones for the initial login bonus. Pretty standard. Would have been nice to get 66, but I think that's asking for too much. So, yeah, 30 stones for everybody upon first login, and maybe five to six stones per day for the actual login bonus. Ooh, six would be a lot. Six would be dope. Um, let's say four to six stones. We'll see once the actual login bonus, you know, details come out. But uh, it's gonna be multiple stones per day, that's for sure. And uh, oh, here is a fan made art fan-made version of LRMUI Goku from Rotomati. I think that's how you say his name. I could be wrong. If I am, I apologize, but he's a super, super talented dude. And uh, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Those are all the new details we got for the upcoming 6th anniversary from, I believe, the uh, app update because there wasn't a data download, so I don't know how else he would have got this uh, these assets and this info. But either way, a big shout out to Air Dokkan. For providing us with this information we really appreciate it and uh that's all i gotta say guys hope you enjoyed today's video hope you guys are excited for the sixth anniversary obviously much more info to come over the uh next few days and uh, as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out